Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn another exploratory data analysis Python library called Pandas GUI. So what is exploratory data analysis? Well, according to Wikipedia, exploratory data analysis is an approach of analyzing data sets to summarize their main characteristics, often using statistical graphics and other data visualization methods. So let's first use pip install to download the library Pandas GUI. Depending on your computer setting, you might get this error message when trying to install Pandas GUI using pip. It says something about Microsoft Visual C++ 14.0 or greater is required and is asking us to download the Visual C++ from this site. Since this site is a Microsoft website, so it should be safe to download from there. Once the download is done, open up the installer and under desktop development with C++, make sure to select these five options, then click on install. Then it's going to start downloading and it's six gigabytes on my side so it will take a little while to download and install everything a few moments later now that we have the c++ build 2 installed let's reopen the command prompt then pip install pandas gui again if you have installed everything for the c++ build 2 from the previous step then the pip install should work now although the name is pandas gui i don't think this is affiliated with uh, pandas in any way i could be wrong on this if anyone knows the answer feel free to comment below so the pandas gui library has an interesting data set it's called pokemon let's import that when we import the Pokemon dataset for the first time, it will download the dataset and save it to our local folder. Let's also import the show method from Pandas GUI. Then we can do show Pokemon. And we should see a graphical user interface pop up. And we can see our Pokemon dataset is now loaded into this program. We can also load new datasets by just dragging and dropping a file into the program interface. Or we can click on edit then import a dataset. The data frame tab provides a snapshot of the dataset itself. We can scroll up and down or left to right to view the data. It's just like a spreadsheet. The statistics tab contains high level summary of the data, such as record count, number of unique values, minimum, maximum, average, etc. It kind of looks like the same metrics that we saw in the pandas profiling and suite viz libraries. I want to talk about some of the unique features of Pandas GUI. So the first one is filters. We can apply filters pretty easily to the data. Just start by typing a column name, for example, HP, then select HP from the dropdown. And then we can specify a criteria. For example, we want HP to be greater than 100. And then we'll see the data change as a result of the filter. And now we can only see those Pokemon with HP greater than 100. So keep in mind that if we apply filters to a dataset, all the operations we do from now on will apply to the filtered data as opposed to the original data set. If we click on the statistics now, it's going to show the stats just for those Pokemon with HP greater than 100. Same thing with the grapher and ratio per tabs. If you want to view or operate on the original full data set, then we have to remove all the filters before working on the data set. The data editing functionality is one of my favorite features in Pandas GUI. We can simply modify data values in the data frame tab by selecting a cell and then typing a new value in there. Anything we modify there will be stored and reflected automatically in the underlying data frame. This is pretty cool. Just note that this only modifies the data that's loaded into our computer memory. It doesn't modify the original data set. For example, if you're reading the data from an Excel file, then the content or the data inside that Excel file is still unchanged. So here I changed the Pikachu's attack to be 100,000. I know it's ridiculous, but then we head to the statistics tab and we see that the max attack from this data set is now also 100,000. We can also do some simple data visualization in Pandas GUI. I'm going to check out the word cloud chart. This is a good way to learn about Pokemon for a newbie like myself. So I just dropped the type two in the value box and then i can tell that a lot of the pokemon have a flying attribute because this is the largest word out of everything else i'm not really familiar with pokemon so i'm not sure if this is true feel free to leave a comment if you can confirm that the next feature we're going to talk about is the reshaper so we can use the reshaper to reshape the data set for example create a pivot table or merge data sets etc we can make a pivot table using type 1 as the index, then count as the aggregate function, then hit finish to generate the pivot table. The final result will show up in the data frame tab. Also note as we create a pivot table, a new standalone data frame appears on the left hand side panel. Always pay attention to this panel to make sure that we have the right data frame selected before doing any work. I hope you guys find the video helpful and if you enjoyed it, please smash the like button 
It's gonna help the channel a lot and I really appreciate it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.